And now there <coughs> is in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate a pool, which is called in the evening Bethsaida, having five projects. In these lay great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool to stir up the water. Then whosoever stepped down first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatsoever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he already been in that condition a long time. He said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Jesus said unto him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him, who was pure, it is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered him, he who made me well said to me, take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, Who is this man who said unto you, Take up thy bed and walk? But, he, but the one who was healed did not know who it was. For Jesus had withdrawn a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus said unto the temple, and said unto him, Jesus, sorry, Jesus, Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come upon you. The man depart and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We understand that this was the place where people were waiting, sick, lame, paralytic. Everybody was waiting for healing. And they have to wait at a certain time to go into the pool. And this man was there before some came. And he was there, amen, for a long time, 38 years. But he was waiting for a man. He was waiting for someone to take him by the hand and take him in. Because he always, he, that was his complaint. That no man, no man, <laughs> hallelujah. But I dare to tell you right now, we don't need a man, we just need Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, we don't need a man. Whatever is gonna take place in our life in this season, all we have to do is push towards Jesus. Jesus is a healer. Amen. And he's the man that stirred up the water Amen. so that people could be healed. Amen. But after 38 years, the man was healed. And they knew it must be somebody who has the anointing and the power in his hand Amen. and his deliverance. This man was more fortunate than the rest that were sitting on the pool. He didn't have to go in the water. Jesus spoke the word. Amen. He spoke the word Amen. and said, rise, take up your bed Come and walk. Yeah. I declare this day, before we go back home, rise, take up your problems Amen. and expect a miracle. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God.